My name is Judy, the paleontologist. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Paleontology Museum and take you back in time to the era of the dinosaurs. I hope you enjoy! Behind me is a juvenile stegosaurus skeleton. He was found in the wilds of North America. We think he is a he, but we don't know. We don't actually know much about dinosaurs because we haven't found very many. Because we haven't found very many, we think there are lots more. The plates on his back are used as dishware in many foreign countries. They are foreign countries because they are not here. Here is in the wilds of North America. These are the plant-eating dinosaurs here at our paleontology museum. They're not real. They're plaster casts painted gray. We have a Stegosaurus, a Triceratops, and another plant-eating dinosaur that I do not know the name of. The plant-eating dinosaur behind me is the one I don't know the name of. It ate water things and could reach up to the top of trees with its long neck. It also sometimes knocked trees over when it wagged its tail, much like a modern-day canine. The Triceratopses lived in the herds and cared for their young together, but usually it was the females. All dinosaurs lay eggs. These two dinosaurs may or may not have eaten eggs of other dinosaurs and aquatic plants. They made a very strange noise like oh, oh, that echoed in the thing that goes on their heads. See, on the one to the left of me, it's that big thing coming out of the back of its head. And on the one to the right of me, it's that thing sticking out of the top of its head. We believe that ducks may or may not have evolved from these dinosaurs. You can see that they have interesting bill-like noses. Here I am with our Albertosaurusi. That is plural for Albertosaurus. We have two of them. Look how it looks like they're giving me hugs. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that so funny? I was going to be a comedian before I discovered my passion for paleontology. I arranged them so cleverly, don't you think? The Albertosaurusi were found in Alberta, as their name suggests, which is in the wilds of Canada. They eat meat. See all their sharp teeth? It's for ripping at the flesh of other dinosaurs, with the spurting of blood and the dying cries of them. As they try to summon their comrades to rescue them. They were going back in time to see real life dinosaurs start the portal. We have encountered in our cross time journey is a giant centipede. I learned some centipede in college. This pose means friendly. This is an authentic dinosaur egg. This would be an amazing paleontological find if I could take it back with me. But sadly, I can't take anything through the time warp that I found to get here, so we won't have any dinosaurs on Earth, sadly. <laughs> that is a baby Triceratops. I am here with a young family of three Triceratops. There is a mother, a horny adolescent, <laughs> and a little baby. <laughs> the babies make sounds almost like modern-day goats. 
Some people believe that goats are descended from baby triceratops, so in turn are descended from regular triceratops. <coughs> Here we have a territorial male china top. It doesn't seem to like the Triceratopses very much. <coughs> oh, look, isn't he adorable? <coughs> Here I am in a swamp with a rare Swampasaurus. Look at its deep purple color. It likes to eat, live in, and breed in mud. There are probably many other Swampasauruses in the mud here, but this is the only one I have found. Swampasauruses have a deep brown purple color so that they can blend in with mud. Here I am by a lake with a beach plesiosaur. It swims in the water, but it breathes air like a whale. It eats things that grow in water, like seaweed, although it would be lakeweed in this case. Uh, I think that we should preserve the plesiosaur by not destroying lakes. Because if we destroy lakes and oceans, we won't find any plesiosaur skeletons. So, we need to preserve lakes and oceans to find plesiosaur skeletons. Ah! This is an iguanodon. I think it's named that because it's like an iguana, but I don't know. It is very iguana-like in the fact that it eats plants and bugs and it poos a lot. It has a ridge along, it, along its back to discourage things from sitting there. Why is it running away? <coughs> oh look! A Tyrannosaurus! Isn't this a good learning experience? The Tyrannosauruses, as I have told you previously, have very large teeth for ripping apart meat. It's taking me to its lair! to run in with this that Tyrannosaurus. Luckily I brought my handy dandy wheelchair with me. I got quite dirty. I can't wait to go back to the present where I can have a shower. It will be quite nice. I think we should travel back through time now. Now we are back in the present day. As you can see, I am now confined to a wheelchair again after the run in with the tyran. <laughs> I ha have sustained some brain damage and my unconscious has blocked that traumatic, traumatic experience. Uh, the, so, uh, yeah. Um, so, now I am done with fierce beasts and animals and wildlife, and I am going to pursue a career as a botanist. I hope you will join us for Judy the Botanist, the next video we will be making. Thank you for watching, Judy the Paleontologist. <laughs>
Now we're going to go back in time and see real life dinosaurs. Now we're going to go back in time to see real life dinosaurs. <laughs> This is a plesiosaurus.